Guys, it's uh, Data Gaming Ziffy's Vescore here. Today we're reviewing Nemesis Jungle. I got sent to this from Reddit, so here we go. Alright. Okay, good start. I'm liking it. Get the two. Get, get, get the two. Get the two. Please, please get the two. Okay, I like it. Good start. Oh, the Tubwa's start is no bueno. Neither is that Sun Wukong's. What the fuck is that? Ugh. Yeah, Tony, submit a game if you want. Just, like, send me a link. Get it fast check since they got the inside story. <laughs> Alright. I have not seen Finding Dory. I saw the Warcraft movie tonight. That was pretty good. Okay, I don't know what your hub was doing. That was really bad for him. He actually just screwed over the duo lane and himself. Okay, Apollo's not pulling it to the side. That's not good. It's not a huge deal, but whatever. Still kind of bad. There are no spoilers on that Finding Dory, am I right? <laughs> okay. You should be careful there, because, like, Sir Cat and Tyr have a lot of early game kill pressure. And they might have been able to kill you there if you got off a of Fearless. That Scylla stole one. Okay. Yes. Enemy missing left! I'm liking that you're pinging and using VGS a lot, even though your teammates are, like, legitimately on the spectrum, it kind of helps out. Me. Who's the guy that we're watching? This is, um, Shiav from Reddit. From Reddit. From Reddit. Oh, he had bad positioning there, like, he should not have gone around this way. Like, he's still Habwa, he should have just gone around this way to be safe. So that's risk. What the fuck? You guys might have been able to kill her there, because Scylla was in mid. You had no vision of her, but you might have been able to kill uh, Sir Cat there and burn her red pot. Okay. Okay, Hellboy. That's good. He's still not really pathing well. Like, Even though you're going with him, that's still not a good idea. Oh, this is not good. Alright, alright. Check this out. Check this out. Look. Hubwa stays in mid, but you still go to the back camps here, and you see Sirket, but continue to do the backs. And you know that Scylla's gonna be rotating with that Sirket, especially because they're fucking queued together. So that was really bad, and you probably should have backed off, and they might get a kill here. Oh, and they just interrupted your dash. Yeah. You should have just backed off as soon as you saw that Hubwa wasn't with you. But that was good thinking. Because had he had gone with you, you probably would have uh, been able to get backs off that. Follow me. Now we're moving. On my way. Okay, nothing wrong here. Sugai! Ultimate is ready. Okay. Gang! You should be calling if there's missing mid, because you have no eyes on Sirkat. And Apollo oh needs to... Okay, good. It's a good thing that you're splitting that. You're doing a very good job splitting camps, which is really good. Especially with Bombas, like, you want to be splitting almost every single camp, except for, like, back camps. Let's see with your mid laner. Okay, this is... Alright. I feel like Apollo was a little bit lost, and I don't think he really knew that you were ganking because he was a little far back. 
and he probably could have mezzed, and that would have helped out. But it seemed like he was a little bit lost okay. in that gank. Thanks. It wasn't really worth the ult, especially since Tyr had his ult. Okay. How well I should have rotated there, like what the fuck? Yeah, Apollo's calling for the rotation. He really should have rotated there. Oh, and he's calling him a noob. Yeah, this is this is very this is definitely ranked. Yeah, and how about overextends when they're missing from left? What the fuck? This is really bad positioning and decision making by him. Okay, Apollo should help you with your yellow. A fireball, please. Good night, fireball. Okay, how about just calling people retards? Classic, dude, classic. This is risky here. Like you're clearing mid uh, mid camps with no one there and no vision on anyone in mid. It's kind of risky. You also should wait for your uh, hubba to get there so you can split that wave. It just maximizes efficiency. But for some reason he's gonna solo back camps. I have no idea why. Is Adam still in Discord? Yeah. Okay. Okay. You should not be going into Ichabal here. Like, there's no reason for you to be building into Ichabal. Like, it's not that good anymore, just because there's better options. And you should be maxing out CDR as soon as possible on Nemesis. So going into, like, a Jotun's and then a Breastplate is, like, probably your best option with Nemesis. There's no reason for attack speed this early. Doesn't really do much for you. An enemy has been slain. Okay, good job calling that. But they're still not backing off. Yeah, if right if right lane dies, that's that's their fault. You called the missing. Ooh. Okay. A bus should have been with you there. Okay, going to red is risky because they're both in mid lane and your hubba is in no position to rotate because he's on half health and he's like in the middle of the lane instead of closer to you. And he's got shit on there. He might die. I don't know what that Summon Kong is doing. Yeah, this still is a little, little bad. Hold on, did you have your shield there? You did. If you had shielded there, that might... I don't know if it would have saved you, but you would have reflected some damage back, and it might have saved you, so it was worth a shot just to three. Yeah, Sir Cat would have gotten that kill if she had all three. Uh, text over one. Thank you, Tony. I'm going for jungle buff. Okay. Defend. You, Zaku. Okay. Good job splitting camps. <clears throat> You should have waited for you, because I think you missed a small minion there. And you should pull these to the side and not clear the side minions. Your middle tower is under attack. Tony, please. Backseat commentary. <laughs> yeah, you should have saved the side minions there for the until the Apollo had gotten there. Just because... Okay. Oh, anyways, I'm gonna finish what I was saying. Just because, um, that would have gotten him a little bit more XP and gold, so it would have helped him out a little bit. 
And we should have been in mid when you were at mid camps. Because that Scylla could have gone on Hubwa and killed him. If she had, you know, hit anything. What the fuck? Okay. Let's, let's go back. A little bit. So... You hear Sir Cat jump. Because you're not listening to music, because I know, because you have your fucking mic on right now. So... Um... You can hear the Sir Cat jump, you turn around and you see her jump in. If you had ulted her right there, she would have taken a lot more damage from the tower. And she might have died, she might not have. But even if she didn't die, you have Ho Yi here. And he probably would have rotated down and helped you secure that kill on the Sir Cat. Which I don't... No, he doesn't, okay. Okay. Yeah, she probably would have been dead if you had ulted. Cause then she, she wouldn't have been able to, to blink out. And you should not be clearing backs here, like there's no reason for you to be clearing backs when your team is getting shit on in mid. You should be helping them out. Like they may be playing like idiots, like fighting a 3v5, but you still should be helping them. Uh, oh, it was a little late, but it worked out. Worked out fine. Good analysis. Thanks, Tony. I'm streaming this right now. So, while I'm recording. Alright. Okay. Okay, good call not to go to lane because you saw X Ball backing up. Good call. But. You also just overextended with that circuit and got your Ho Yi, so at that point you should have gotten off backs, gone with your Hubwa, and gone with Sun Wukong and tried to fuck him up. Are you kidding me? Ooh, you should be going right. Ooh. They were, like, they were way overextended. You had your entire team there. <laughs> Here, Tony. Here, hold on, my mouse is fucking up. Here's your special feature. Tony Bravo in chat right here. There's your shout out. You're welcome. Okay. There's three people in mid, so you should be there. But it's all right. Yeah, who you says you called gank and went to boars. And like, well, yeah, like. Right While it was a good call to go to Boars, at the same time they overextended and killed him. So, as soon as you saw them kind of running down lane and that he died and you had your team all around here, you should have rotated at that point. But it was a fine call to go to Boars after they had backed out. Shout out to Mr. Ninja Slab for getting triggered that I didn't shout him out. Be careful, right? Okay. Good warding. Good warding. Okay. Ugh, Apollo should not be solo clearing your buffs. That really screws you. Like, you're far ahead of the circuit, so it's fine, but he still shouldn't be solo clearing. It's a pity shout out, true. Okay, there's no reason to gank the tier again. Like, I think I'm just gonna ult out here. And even if he doesn't, tier is just really survivable with, with his heals and everything. You'll probably kill him here if you use your two, though. Oh no. That was just really aggressive. That was really, really aggressive. Like, one more tower shot or one other ability from anyone, including Athena, would have killed you there. That was just super risky. And you should not be going back in here. Like, even though your entire team is here, like, you should not be going in. You should really back. Yeah, on Nemesis, the only really attack speed item that you want is Chins. You know, there's no reason to get Echo Ball or anything like that. You just want Chins. Chins and Pen. Chins, Pen, Power, and Protections. Okay. 
Okay, good job calling for that gank. You still shouldn't be here. Like, you should really back. Like, that was way too fucking aggressive. Like, you need to get out right now. I don't know about Aussie on them. I don't know, Tony. I could see it, but like, I just I think there's better options. Okay, good job not helping him there. Like, you needed to get out. You stayed way too long there. You should have backed, like, r here. When you had almost died in this tower from their team. You should have backed here and not gone all the way around. Take a tower shot from here. Look at their red. Go to mids. Go to red. And then backs. Like, you should have backed a long time ago. I guess Aussie could be viable, Tony, but I don't know. There are better options. I think I think it's viable, but it's not the best idea. Attack. For Enemy missing left. Enemy missing left. Oh shit, I muted my mic. Rip. We should ambush them here. Kinda like Ninja Tabby over power on X-Bar. Yeah, like it's viable. You can do it, it's just not that great. That's too bad. You should call it there's a ward there. And you should be grouped with your team, even though they're being stupid again. Just because you need to be with your team. Despite their stupidity. Thanks. Dancing grenades. Go, Trapper. Okay, he tried to take your speed. The fuck? Now we're moving. The fucking hubba. What level game is this? I have no idea. Gunk. The fact that an ADC solo is winning. Yeah, I don't know. Be careful, left. Be careful. Yeah. Usually, um, an ADC in the solo lane wouldn't work out just because of the jungler, but. This does seem like a lower level slash elo game. Okay, once again, ulting with tier when he has everything up. Okay, it worked out fine. Your mom's freaking out a little bit. She wants to watch your lit YouTube videos, dude. Why did she beads? I don't know. Probably just like a pre beads, like just in case they had CC'd. That would be my guess. I'm getting shit on by their team here. Like that X ball is throwing out a lot of autos, and you should have been more careful, but it was fine. Okay, this is a bad idea here. Okay, it worked out. But like, if your team had backed off at all there, you would have been fucked by that Athena ult. Meant to sprint and misclick. Probably. Your team has destroyed a left enemy tower. I'll attack the middle lane. Be careful. Enemies have the time. Hmm. Almost 1 a.m. Dude, it is like. It's okay. three here. It's almost three here. Past your bedtime. Get out of here, ninja. I don't know why your team kept going. Like, that was just overextension. My enemies will tremble in Enemy fear. missing left! Okay, you're finally going into some CDR, which is really good. Because you definitely need the CDR on Nemesis to get your ult off as much as possible. Yeah, this game is pretty much over. Sun Wukong, I don't know though, like, your Sun Wukong is, like, legitimately retarded. And that Hubba's build is straight up trash. So. Yeah, their jungle is not good. That Sir Cat is not good. Yeah, I'm reviewing a game for my YouTube channel. 
Twisted Karma. The servers are down right now, so this is what I'm doing. Okay. I understand why you just focused her down, but hold on. Let's let's go back a little bit. Okay, look. Yeah, no, I'm not playing with one hand. Um, okay, so look. Your hub wall is right there, right? Or your, um, hoagie is right there. And, while it was a good idea to ult the, uh, what's it called? The Athena. But, and look at this, they're still both going on your hoagie. And that was a bad idea to just focus the Athena. Like, I know why you did it right and it was a good call but you focus the athena down let your ho yi die and if you if you didn't let him die you might have been able to turn this fight here but instead you're probably gonna die oh no you're gonna get out with no hp oh just kidding yeah no if you had helped him you probably would be alive Yeah, the servers are not down for the patch, oh it's just God. scheduled maintenance. Twisted. Okay. Okay, this is how you know this is low elo, right? You've got the Sun Wukong support that's not building tanky at all. You've got the Hubwa who's over here with no escape when they have two people up. And then you've got two people taking the tower. Your team is so split up right now and you would never see this in like... Even a gold level game, like even in gold, people don't split up like crazy like that. Patches Wednesday or Thursday, right? I don't know, I hope it's soon. I want the fucking Mark of the Vanguard change. Can't wait to play some Guardians in solo. Yeah, your team needs to get out here. You guys are way fucking overextended. I don't think ranked is for you, that's pretty good. Okay, good job. Getting that uh, defense on. You should get a Jotun's next, would be my guess. Maybe Jotun's Titans, or maybe a Bulwark Jotun's, or something like that. Your team is just fighting in right without you, which is kind of dumb. Yeah, you may will actually be a decent solo with the new patch. The changes to Mark of the Vanguard plus his new passive. Like, he'll be, he'll be a decent solo. He'll be better in Guardian and maybe even Jungle, but he might be able to solo. The Nem is gold. Hmm. The Sun Wukong is qualifying? Okay. Yeah, that explains it. I don't know. I'm in gold, but I don't- I can't honestly remember the last time that I've- I've played with golds. Like, I usually play with a, uh, with a lot of plats and diamonds. Especially like the people that I queue with are in plat, so I usually play against like high diamonds because they just have really high elo. Some of the people that I play with. Okay, you guys should go. You guys should have gone on that Athena way earlier. Like, look at this. Yeah, Kabaka will be so much better. He's still really good. All right, so you're calling behind you. But watch. Let's see. Let's 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 look at this team fight. Right, you get pushed way the fuck out, and. I know you healed up a shit ton, right? But look. You did heal up a shit ton, but you got Fearless, you're getting x ball um, uh, autoed. There's also a Scylla right there, and you're getting Athena shielded. And yeah, you healed up a ton of the- of- fuck. A ton of that damage, but you're also- you're still focusing down that Scylla when this- uh, when this Athena is free as fuck over here. And you rotated really early, which is nice. That was a good rotation there. Hold on, Twisted, real quick. Um, Apollo's got the right idea ganking that Circat. Like, that Circat's garbage. Ooh, this is bad. If you guys don't back off here, you need to back off. Like, right now, I don't know what the fuck you're doing, dude. Okay. You should have backed off way early. You have no HP. I need a moment to rest. Oh no, don't don't stay so long again. Please don't stay as long as you did earlier. Okay, thank you. My thoughts on tier? 
Um, he's not great. He's not bad though. Like he's good, but I don't know. There's there's better options. Like to yeah, like Tony said, there's better options, but he's never really bad. It's just that he like he uses two clears or two abilities to clear, so he uses a lot of mana, and he still has trouble clearing early. So that's that's one of the problems with tier. Plus, he has like a high skill cap, especially for like newer players. Okay. You're doing fine here clearing your speed, because that was a suicide mission to go and help your hubwa. <laughs> and even right here, you're really overextended, because if, if that Athena dash taunted you, X-Ball would have gone on you and you would have died. <laughs> Top 5 for solo, tier, no. I don't think so. Yeah, your team does need to group with you. You have the right idea there. Top 5 for solo? Um... I think... Raven is up there. I'm not sure exactly what number, but Raven and Osiris are definitely like probably one and two in the in the lane. Oh, that's how your name is Twisted Karma, okay? Because of League, I got you. So I would say it's probably Raven, then Osiris, and then probably Ama. Maybe. No, Ama and then Bologna. And then. Probably Vimana, Guan. Forgetting someone, but whatever. Sun Wukong's good. Yeah, Guan is really good, but he gets shit on by Amaterasu and Hades. And that's why Guan Yu isn't really picked, is because, like, if anyone has a silence, he's totally fucked. Hold on, we're gonna go over this team fight right now, but. Most solos go for the counter pick? Yeah. I don't know. I don't think. Oh, I thought you put um, Odin, not Osiris. My bad. Yeah, Osiris is really good as well as Robin. Vamana and Bologna carry fucking games. Yeah. Yeah, your order is pretty solid, Tony. Okay, we're gonna go over this team fight again because I was talking to. Um, what makes Sun Wukong better than he is now? Higher base health. Like 10 or 15 higher. Not much, but just revert the health pool nerfs that he had. Okay. Let's see. Okay. Look at this, right? Your Hoi is over here. Hubwa's over here. You don't know where X-Ball is. You can see someone's in lane right there. I think that's X-Ball. I can't tell. But you're about to get fearless into this. And and Cat, even though she's garbage, she could totally shit on, it, on you. And base damage was one, yeah. Okay. If you pop your three here, good call. No, yeah, good call popping your three. Going for the protections and the steel. Good job. You're playing this team fight really well. Even though your Sun Wukong is just sitting on his fucking cloud, you're playing this pretty well. Okay, this is risky. You should pop sprint here to help your team get away. Yeah, there you go. Um. Do I think he needs a new passive? Um. Not a new one, but change it a little bit. Like, just take off the crit. I don't know why Sun Wukong gets crit on his passive, but the protections aren't bad. Maybe change it to something like Shifter's Shield, to where he gets protections, or, um, power, over a certain percentage of health and protections under, or give him both when he's under. I don't know. The passive should proc higher. That's a good idea. I just don't see why he has crit on his passive, because then that prompts some people to build, like, Deathbringer and Rage on Sun Wukong, which is fucking stupid. Your Apollo is really overextended. I don't know what he's doing there. 35... 35-40, I would say. 35-40. Hey, you just let that Scylla take that tower, and it's a fucking Scylla tanking a tower. Like, you could've just, like, tutor and she would've gotten scared and run. I would not help that Apollo. Like, that Apollo is out of position and garbage. Do I think Suzano will be top tier after this patch? I think he's he's still top tier, and he still probably will be, just because of his early game damage and his escape ability. Like, he needs to be, um... He needs to be turn, like tuned down a little bit, at least in the early game, and his escape ability. Like, maybe lower the, um... The distance on his three. I don't think he'll be A, honestly. I think he'll be, like, A+. Plus. At least A+. Plus. I would be surprised if he's considered balanced, to be honest. 
I think some, um, Susano is just really escapable and has way too much early game damage. They nerfed his mobility and damage on his one, did they? I know they nerfed the damage, but I didn't know about the mobility. That might actually help a lot. Okay. Your team is just BMing each other. I would literally just mute them all, to be completely honest. If they're not really giving you that much tactical, like, information, like, missings and shit, they're literally just saying, like, fuck you, delete the game, whatever. Okay, good job focusing her down there. Yeah, I would I would put your shield on when you have Sir Cat ult on you. Like putting your shield on will benefit a lot. Okay, you're playing this well, just sitting in the back line and picking kills off, but at the same time you're really low and you should probably get out. Like if that tier fearless is you. Okay, good idea switch it or um dashing out as soon as you switch to assault stance. Dash is more like a 1 1 dash 3 Yeah, Susano might actually be 8 here then. Honestly, I was too busy fucking oogling over the uh, Mark of the Vanguard changes to notice Susano's changes. Plus, they weren't in the official patch notes, they were added in after the um, patch notes show. This tier is actually about to get a double kill with Mystical Mail. That was garbage, like. I'm I'm just gonna put this out like that was really that was just a bad idea. Like I know why you guys got that thirsty, but at the same time, look at how much damage he's just doing to you with mystical mail. Like he did miss his autos and he played that like shit, but at the same time both of you should have gotten out right there. Like that was just a bad idea. Yeah, rest in peace. Cancel that. Sorry. Um, okay. I would have gone for a Jotun's there, because you're not really dying that much. Like, you have three deaths in a 40-plus kill game. Like, you're doing fine. Or 50-plus kill game. Yeah. Tony, you're you're right. Like, the, you, you this guy really does need to start backing when you're low on health. Because, like, I know you want to make, like, sick outplays and shit and get fed. But at the same time, like, you're overextending really hard and you, like, when you have no health and it's just, it's killing you a lot. I do have a clan on PC, but it's just for my team. So, sorry, Twisted. Yeah, that Apollo is fucked. Sun Wukong's just sitting there. I don't know what he's doing. I don't know what Hub was doing. They should have helped him out. Like, they shouldn't have engaged, but they should have helped him out by just giving him a knock up or two. We should ambush them here. This is risky. Like their entire team is in mid and you're nowhere near your team. It's not a great idea. Okay. It was a good it was good for you to call you were going for your buff. And at that point your team should have realized, okay, we're fighting down. You know, we we don't have our nemesis with us, let's not pick a fight. But they fucking did, and they got shit on because of it. If you kill this X ball here, that will be really big for your team. Unless he just outruns you forever with speed bow. Okay. Wow. Oh, the reflex does nothing! Please kill him, you're so overextended! You're gonna die here, I think. I don't know what you're doing still chasing. This is just too thirsty, dude. You have no eyes on anyone on that team. You have no eyes on any of them. You only made your clan for the skins? Yeah, I feel you. Okay. You got two kills, chased for a solid 30 seconds, and let your, your team lose a T2 in mid. That was just badly played, to be completely honest. This will help me complete my like, you really should have helped your team there. That was a bad idea to chase those kills that hard. Your left tower is under attack. Yeah. Your left tower has 
been destroyed. I don't know why you popped your shield there. Your entire team is like fighting and running, you're just clearing midwave. You should really be helping your team. Okay, you're going now, which is good. On my way. Okay. There's no need to ult the Sir Cat. I don't even think you're gonna get that kill, to be completely honest. I don't know how your team didn't find a way to CC here. Okay, you are... Wow, you're like... There's no no one around you. You should not be that far pushed up when you don't have your tanks with you. Or tank with the fucking Sun Wukong. Okay. Yeah, your team is fighting in right, and you're just doing back camps, and Hub was in left, like... You're already fighting a man down. There's no reason for you to be doing back cams when your team was fighting there. Ultimate is down. I don't know why you're calling for Sun Wukong to tank that Phoenix, because he's level 15 and he has, like, no HP. Oh. That was just risky there. Like, if your team didn't follow up, like... Oof. Yeah. Both teams in this game are really fucking split up. Like, your team and the enemy team. I wish I could have saved them! I'm kind of glad that you're building half tank, half not, because you really need to when you have this Sun Wukong not building tanky. You're so split, your Scylla just needs to get picked. Yeah. Like, you pick off that Scylla, and that game is gone. Look at Hubwa's BMing you for your build when his build is legit garbage. We'll go over builds at the end of this, and hopefully that'll help. It's not a normal Nem build. It is for the most part, except for that Ikeball. Like you need to have full CDR, and I, 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 I know that you're getting it with like your last item, but the thing is, like, you need full <laughs> CDR. I need that. Thank you for the follow, Tony Bravo. Uh, but you need full CDR like earlier in the game with Nemesis. Like you really need like 40% CDR by like 20 minutes, probably. Group up. Group up. Okay. Yeah, the Cat really can't hit more than three of her Deathbane ticks. That Apollo's gonna die. Oh, he didn't. Okay. Apollo's on no health. Oof. Okay. You're like all alone there. Okay. He just dashed into mid there. And that was risky. Yeah, skip the ick of all. Jotun's into okay. chins is really the better idea here. Uh, fire's not the right call here. Okay, good job saying cancel that. Moving depending on enemy team comp, yeah. I wish I could have saved them! Okay. Group up. You're still not fully maxed on CDR. Like you're at 35, oh which is like it's fine. It's close enough, but the thing is, like you're you're getting CDR 33 minutes into the game as Nemesis behind when you really us. want full behind CDR at the beginning us. of the game. Behind us. Like Jotun's breastplate Attack. is bread and butter. An enemy enemy has been slain. Double kill. Okay. 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 Okay, okay. Look, 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 look. 
Your hubwa dies. Ho Yi's not with you. Attack! Yeah, you still round that corner. I swear, if you if you go in on this. Oh no. No, why are you doing this? This is a terrible idea. Their entire team is there and it's you and Ho Yi and he was late to that fight. Like that was just a bad idea. Honestly, that if that other team that you were playing against was even slightly more organized, you would be fucked beyond belief right now. Don't get near him, he's gonna spread the death bane. And he spread it to the minion, okay. <laughs> I don't know why that spread to the minion, not to one of you guys. Yes. Please don't buy Executioner. Please don't buy Executioner. You do not need it. If you want Pen, get Titans. Since you already have 35 CDR, get Titans, please. Don't get Executioner. Like Tony said earlier in chat, like you only need one attack speed item on Nemesis, and that's Chins. Like that's all you really need. Okay, good job backing off there, because you were overextended, you had no one with you, and their entire team was right there. <laughs> Jesus, ninja. On my way. Retreat right lane. <laughs> Tony, he's saying that they need to nerf Nem's ass. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you're overextended here, like, okay, wow, you have no one around you and their entire team is right there, and if their team had, like, if that Athena dash taunted you, you would have been so dead, it wouldn't even have been funny. Like, you would have been so dead there, and that Scylla just got a double hit for that all, holy fuck. This was just played incredibly poorly, like, you guys shouldn't, you should not have been there. That was really bad. Your middle phoenix has been destroyed. Your titan is under attack. Please don't get executioner. My enemies will tremble in fear. Oh my god. You did it. You did it. Alright. There was no reason to get executioner. Like, if you wanted pen, you should have gone titans. And you don't need more attack speed. You really needed a titan's bane there. Oh, all right. So overall, you're not a bad player. You really need to work on your positioning and decision making because there were a lot of teams where you were just like in the sidelines and your and their team could have like gone and like just shit on you there. So if you had like backed off a few times and not really gone in after your teammates have died and just like backed off, then you would have been fine. A lot of times, like a lot of your deaths were just caused by you overextending or getting too thirsty. Like that's the reason why you lost that tier two in mid a while uh, earlier in the game, it was because you got overextended chasing the tier and the Athena for no reason, and they just took your mid tower. <laughs> All right, so builds. Ho Yi's build is fine, but like, okay, I reviewed this game a while ago, but for some reason the recording didn't save. Right, and look, this is what an ADC's power curve should be. It's very linear. It's Zoop, it's like that. All the items are here. And this is what your hub was power curve was like. It goes it starts down, and then it goes up, and then it goes back down, and then it goes up, and then it plateaus. That was garbage, right? 
This hub wall, if you're gonna get one crit item, you get two. You don't just buy one crit item. Anyways, so Ho Yi's build was and look how late he got chins. Chins should be like here or here. Like that Ho Yi that Ho Yi's build was actually trash. I don't know what the fuck he was doing. Your build was not that great either. It was it was better than that Ho Yi's build, to be completely honest. But at the same time, you needed Jotun's breastplate instead of mantle. Like you should have gotten Jotun's here, breastplate here, chins, and then you should have gotten defense there and there. Like that just that would have helped you so much more to have that early CDR. Um, Apollo's build is fine. He's just getting chins really late, and he's only getting one crit item. Like if he had gotten a Deathbringer here, he would have gotten a, a lot more kills and gotten a lot more damage. Hubwa's build is cancerous. Hubwa needs to go Soulstone, Purple Pot, Pen Boots, Dynasty Plate Helm, Obsidian Shard, and then like a Soul Reaver, Tehuti, like a Poly or some shit here. Or even like a fucking Breastplate or something. Like there's no reason to get either or any of these three items here. They're just not good. Like, this is too expensive for mediocre stats. Like the stats, okay, the stats aren't mediocre. But they're not good for the price. It delays your build way too much, and the only time you should be building it is late game full build when you have 3k extra in the bank. Chronos Pendant, there's no reason to be building this item anymore. Mid lane's all about burst, and this doesn't provide you burst. This is just uh, sustained damage. Yeah, no one sold their starter item. Like Vamp Shroud, Golden Bow, no one did. Um, Book of Thoth takes way too long to get online, it's way too expensive. And it doesn't give you any pen, and pen is really valuable in this meta. Sun Wukong's build is almost untouchable. I don't even want to look at that. There's no reason for transcendence or shifters. The only viable items in this build are boots, breastplate, and Jotuns. What are some alternatives to stacking now since you said it's out of the meta? The only stacking items that's in the meta is like Warlock Sash on Guardians, and then Doom Orb on really fed mid laners. But that's about it. Like, Book of Thoth isn't good, and Warlocks isn't good on mid laners. The only time you should be getting Warlocks is on a Guardian and Solo, and the only time you should be getting Doom Orb is if you're snowballing really hard. Book's not that great, though, because it's way too expensive and it delays your build. Like, it's okay, but it's not great. There's just better options. This X-Ball build is really bad. There's no reason for him to get three, four, five. Wow. X-Ball has five mobility items. Five. When he has a CC immune dash on a low cooldown. Five mobility items. Mobility on a kill for Bloodforge. Mobility on a crit for Wind Demon. Like, what the fuck is this? Yeah, I don't know. Book's not bad, but it's not great. Aussie is fine, it's just way too late in the build. Double life steal, there's no point. Once again, he got one crit item without two, and he has no pen in that build. That build is garbage. Um, Scylla's build is. Wow. She should be getting a Soul Reaver. And she doesn't really need the defense. Like, she's, her job is to burst people down. Plus, she has a Tier Athena and a Sir Cat that can all appeal for her. There's not really reason for her to get Breastplate, unless, like. I don't know. I could see that, Tony, but I don't know. I just don't think it's that great, to be honest. Sir Ket's build... Oh. oh, wow. If she wanted to go double crit, this should have been a Malice. With Sir Ket, you're not autoing people more than, like, two or three times. Like, seriously, you should not be autoing more than, like, once or twice with Sir Ket. There's no point. I don't even know why she got Spectral Armor. Like, there's not even a single wall on your team. You didn't have a Ymir, Kabrakan, or Odin. And that's, like, the only guys that this really counters. So I don't know why the fuck she got that. Tears build is... Wow. Ooh, wow. Crit is for Deathbane, which she never hit. Yeah. Tear Rush Mystical, which is a really bad idea. And you got Yotans, which is fine. Mantle's fine, but that's way too early for Mantle. This, I guess, is okay. Autoing does reset the poison, but the thing is, is you went, you auto once or twice. You never auto, like, three, four, five times, which is what you're doing with Rage. 
Yeah, Tony's got it. You 2-1 auto. Like, you're never autoing enough times for Rage to be viable. Um, Athena's build is okay, I guess. She just has no magical defense outside of, like, Breastplate. So, overall, the builds were, like, hot garbage from both teams. Scylla probably had the best build just because every other build was pretty bad. Like, ugh. Alright, well, thank you guys for watching. Um, hopefully this helped you out. Shiav, if you have any more gameplay, send it in and I'll review it. But, overall, just work on your building and your positioning and um, decision making and you'll be a better player in no time. Thank you guys for watching. I've been Zeke Fiasa I will see you guys later.